Now, I said in the beginning that this isn't about bootstrap and it's not about CSS versus uh, inline styles or CSS and JS. It's just a technique for isolating some of those details around style into components. Now, I want to show you what it looks like to change the underlying CSS framework. So we'll go into here and we'll kill bootstrap and instead use Bulma. I like this one a lot. Now you can see that we're getting some styles applied, but obviously it's not mapping up one to one. So let's jump over to the Bulma docs and see what the differences are. Uh, it's also a primary button and a danger button and an info button, but it looks like this base class is the word button, not BTN. And those uh, specifiers are prefixed with is instead of BTN. So let's go back to our component here. We're going to change this to button. So that's the base class that gets applied to all of our buttons. And we're going to change this to is, this to is, and this to is. Because we isolated all of these CSS details to this one component, it's incredibly easy to change that underlying framework and uh, not have to update the entire code base. Now let's try it again and use a CSS framework that is significantly different. We'll go in here and use foundation. Let's jump over to the foundation docs and see what their coloring looks like. So they use that button base class that's used in Bulma and just use bare words. So primary, uh, it looks like there's no info, but secondary fills that slot and alert is what we use for the red button. So let's go update our component with that. The danger is going to be alert. Primary is just going to be primary. And info is secondary. So there you have it. This is a very, very powerful tool when styling an app with a framework or where all of these styles are kind of pre-decided for you.